What's up, our members? Just a boy eight here, and welcome to a brand new walkthrough. Yep, our fifth walkthrough is about to start right here, and it's a Nintendo Wii game, and it's this game right here. Sonic and the Secret Rings for Nintendo Wii. I don't know why I said it twice, but whatever. Let's get the start right here, right away. I'm gonna. Turn off the sounds a little bit more. Guess that was a little too loud. Okay, that's about right. So this game has got a pretty critical claims. Not because of the story, because the story is actually pretty good. The story is pretty good, but but of something else, which I will talk about in a bit. Anyway, on the main menu we have Adventure Modes, which we're gonna go on through, through, the, through our main, that's gonna be our main project. Going through the Adventure Mode, take on the quest to save the fading world of Arabian Nights. And I'm also gonna show you Party Mode, which is really fun, trust me. And I'm gonna show you a special book with that is later on. Now, originally I was gonna go and do the story mode with a pretty high level Sonic because for those who don't know this is an RPG style action RPG style, uh, style type of game so but at the very end I decided you know what just for you guys I'm gonna do the entire story mode and I'm gonna start with level 0 Sonic just for you guys. Okay. So I know what I'm gonna do. What? What I'm gonna do? Because how to complete this game is pretty random. Anyway, let's go and start a new data. And we're gonna start up with the very first world, the Lost Prologue. The beginning of the end. Wow, that was that was pretty loud. Anyway, let's start with paragraph 1, till the remote left and right and collect 50 rings. And yes, I'm gonna talk over the cutscenes. What time is it? It's almost... Oh, I can't see the timer. Huh? You are the blue hedgehog! Ah, what the? Wait, I should put the rumbling off. Ah, oh, whatever. D do not be alarmed. I am Shara, the genie of the ring. You know, what? like Aladdin in the Magic Land. Don't yes. think I've read that. What? N You've got to be kidding me! It's the best story of all the Arabian Nights. Or at least the second best. But that's really? besides the point. Please, look at this. The best book ever! Hey, the page is blank. Yeah. Our world, the world of the Arabian Nights, is vanishing. Vanishing? How? But how? This is the work of an incredibly evil spirit. The Eraser Jinn. Eraser Jinn? He erases something? Yes. He used his evil magic to become even more powerful. Mm -hmm. He could not bear to simply remain in the book any longer. And so he has begun to set the inscriptions free, absorbing the power of the book itself. That's kind of dark for a Sonic game. The book? If our world ceases to exist, then not only will those stories be silenced forever, but the Eraser Jinn will then be unleashed into your world. That definitely sounds like trouble. But what do you want me to do? What do you think? I want you to stop him. You must stop the Eraser Jinn. Only you, the Blue Hedgehog, can do it. Hmm, so this guy needs someone to put him in his place, does he? I suppose I can help out with that. It might even be fun. 
Uh huh. But this is all just something out of a storybook, right? How am I supposed to do anything about that? That's easy. You are my master, having called forth the genie of the ring. As such, I am able to grant your wishes. Simple wishes, at any rate. Bringing you into the world of the Arabian Nights is within my power. I want what? to beat this game. Inside okay, that no. book! Now please, place the ring on your finger. I don't want to marry you. Oh, whatever. Like this? Ouch! Hey, take it easy. My apologies, O oh Master. But now the contract has been sealed. Contract? Mm. Yes. As Master of the Ring, I am now bound to protect you. Now, rub the ring. Oh, God. Like... Like this? Oh, Master of the Ring, what is thy wish? Hut two! Hut two! How about a handkerchief for starters? Make that a few. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. You see, I caught this cold yesterday and. Please nice job, Sonic. be serious. Okay, okay. Thanks for the hankies, though. Oh, please. Someone tell me that this isn't really happening. This is Sonic, okay? All right. Let's go. Take me to this world of the Arabian Nights. As you wish, Master. Quit it, will you? My name's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm -hmm. Very well, Please. Sonic. The legendary hedgehog. Here what we is go. With legendary? Into the world of the Arabian Nights. Okay. Oh, that's classic. Now this is first class. Here we go. Into a book. Ah, I don't remember. Alright, starting off on the Lost Prologue. Prologue, whatever. Three, two, the main critic one. of this entire game, Art of Control. Tilting the Wii Remote to the left and right will move you in that direction. I really need to turn off the sound. Please. Hang on. Nah, we'll do it next time. Alright, so we tilt the Wii Remote left to right to move. The running, you run automatically for us. That's already a thing that a lot of people have trouble with with this game. Also, you move kind of slow for Sonic. Also, you're doing missions for each. Not really a level, but just missions. Also, you get, of course, a rank. And, of course, experience points. Get enough, enough experience points, and you level up, and you unlock more skills. There are a lot of skills in this game. And you must keep doing missions until you have access to the next world. So, we're going with the par paragraph 2, paragraph, I don't know. Use the charge jump to reach the goal. Honestly, the longer you play the game, the easiest it becomes to it becomes to control Three, Sonic. Two, in the beginning, I have to agree the controls are so awful. I have to agree on that. Press the two button and release to jump. Yep, press the two button to jump or hold to jump higher. Yes, what I did right there is a homing attack, which I will talk about later. It's gonna be really hard with the setting that I'm using right now. Hold the two button down and you can jump higher. You can also slide. If I throw my mic off, this, that would be really hilarious. And booyah! Mission complete. Uh, we're gonna do the entire Lost Pearl Lark in this video right here. I'm trying to do... I'm trying to do like one world per video, but I'm not... no promises. Because you need to do a lot of missions for some... for some uh, maps. Anyway, on the mission... Sweet born. Okay, sorry. Just jump dash. I totally forgot that what that was. So yeah, that those are pretty much the basic Three, controls of this game. Alright, this one. Let's see, jump dash. While jumping. 
quickly move the Wii Remote forward to perform a jump dash. It's called a homing attack, Shara. It's whatever. Later on, you can do... You can do these missions again later on when you have more skills. Which makes it to get easy to get higher ranks. But that's pretty much the replay value of this game. Just for going for higher ranks. Or for collectibles later on. Which I'll talk about later in the next episode. And yeah. And the sun is no problem. No ranking on okay. The sun is right on my on my face right there right now, which is not very really funny. Also, if you are wondering if there aren't going to be bonus videos for Grand Theft Auto 4, yes, they're going to be later. Trust me. But right now, just going to go focus on this game. All right, use homing attacks to defeat ten enemies. So really, just do missions, get experience points, level up as high as possible. And a lot of cool skills, and that's basically how this game works. Pretty simple, Three, like two, an actual RPG. One, go. Now, you can the Sonic homing attack while jumping when the lock-on mark appears. There's yeah. the symbol. Yeah, lock-on and booyah. Booyah, booyah. And you have to do it ten times. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I had absolute trouble when I first did this. There's one I, I I was terrible at English, and I wasn't very good at Wii games. Trust me. Also, I love the background here. Just made it. So, not much explaining right here. I explained everything about this game. Alright, get more. You wish it unlocked. Yes, 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 yes. Alright. Uh, what's next? Use proper breaking to reach the goal. Yes, you can break in this game. Because. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know this game as much as the other Three, four games I did, two, but I know a little bit about this game. So, yeah. Press the one button to break. Yeah, because you have no rings, you have definitely have to break right here. The one button. Come on, Sonic, run. I have to break right here. I had trouble on this part for some reason. The first time I played this game. I right, run, Sonic, run, 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 run. Thank God. Because I was really impatient. I'm like Sonic. And a bronze medal. There's basically a C rank of this game. Oh yeah, comment below if you if you hear my voice during the gameplay because I'm not sure if if the gameplay music is high or my commentary is low. Because I think my commentary is pretty low. Anyway, paragraph six is use back moves like. 25 ranks. Now this is where it gets a little awkward. Definitely awkward. And I just spit at my mic right here. And my commentary is kind of bad. But then again, every commentary starts kind of off in each walkthrough. Alright, go backwards. Sometimes it glitches out. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I really need to turn down the sound. Wait. Half, half. Okay, I think that's that, that's pretty good. Now the sequel to this game, Sonic and the Black Knight, got even more negativity compared to this game. This game got some good positive reactions, positive reactions left because of the party mode in this game. Yeah, that's actually pretty fun. Anyway, we're gonna talk about party mode later. Like I said, use 10 small jumps to reach a goal. Three, Three two, two, one, go! Use quickly jumps. Quickly press and release the two button to do a small jump. Bam, bam. Oh, Sonic, Sonic, Sonic. Ah, 
I had to do it like that because otherwise I would have failed this mission and I don't want to fail on the first video. Okay, there we go. You're probably going to see me fail later a lot of times. Because like I said, I'm not good in this game. Yes, I'm horrible at this game. Well, not horrible, but pretty bad at this game. Anyway, you have to do one more mission, I guess, in order to level up Sonic to level 1. Why did they never made, make, make like an actual Sonic RPG game? They've done it for Mario, why not for Sonic? Anyway, last up is grinding. Which I have absolutely no idea how to control it the first time I, how to control this the first time I played this game. But now I actually do now now I know how to do it. Alright, what you to do You can grind on places that have squared edges. You have to press two at the at the exact same moment to switch places. And bam. However I think Running is a little bit faster than grinding in this game. But it's a pretty neat feature. I mean, it's first appeared in Sonic Adventure 2, so yeah. And there's the goal. No, such thing as a huh. no, problem. no problem indeed. And our first level up! And I will probably make that better next time. And we got a new skill, Ring Bonus. And a new world, Sand Oasis. Which we'll do in the next video. And another mission unlocked. Okay, so who's this guy who's trying to make the world disappear again? You mean, the Eraser Jin? Yeah, that's right. Can you take me to him? There is no need. What do you mean? He's here! Explanation mark! Here he is. Ooh, that was close. What's that all about? Talk about close shaves. I Maybe you agree. know where I can get my quill sharpened too? Sonic, that's him! He's the evil spirit who is striking the words of our world from the pages. That's not good. You must be that blue rat that just got added to the story. Here comes the famous line. Don't you know anything? I'm not a rat. I'm a hedgehog. <laughs> I am a razor djinn. Uh -huh. I am the one who shall carve up this world as I see fit. Why? Yeah, well, if you're going to do that, can you at least wait until I'm done reading it first? Really, Sonic? Oh, Nick? One hundred of the one thousand and one nights have already been wiped clean. Damn, you're slow. And soon, the rest shall join them, night by night. And then, with the seven world rings... Seven world rings? What is this, Chaos Emeralds you in this game? You have gathered the seven world rings for me. Have you not, Shara, my dear? Are you still going on about that? I told you those things don't even exist. And even if they did, I'd never give them to you. Oh, Ooh. wouldn't you, though? <sighs> I suppose a suitable punishment is in order, then. What is the punishment? Look out! A fire! Sonic! Aha! <laughs> so, this is how judgment is dealt, is it? Hmm. This should be interesting. You listening? Bring me the seven world rings before the arrow of flame extinguishes. Oh, the arrow of flame, you excuse do me. Not yes. Your lies. It's kind of dark for a song game, you know. Next, I think I shall collect the life of King Sharia. <laughs> The king is the creator of the Arabian Nights and the main character of the story. That's not good. With my speed, we'll just have to make sure we get to him first. Excuse me, you have level zero, well, level one now. You had level zero speed. I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, how long have we done? We're almost 20 minutes long. I think we're going to end this episode off. 
So next time on Sonic and the Secret Rings, we're gonna start up with an actual world, Santa Oasis. See you guys then. <laughs>